Hello everybody, my name is Erdalam Ilavizadeh. Today I want to uh, talk about duration of flowering. The days that you have the flowering, very important, without doubt, the most important part in the growing saffron indoors is managing the labor force, the managing part today. Duration of the flowering, I mean, this is the usually, you know, flowering usually takes near the two or three weeks. And uh, duration of the flowering depending on the two factors. One of the factors is depending on you and another factor is not on your control. This is depending on the companies. As you can see in this, I have provided the two plan. This is one of the scenario that you can have. For example, if we, if we assume the duration of the flowering is the eight days. You know, the reality is that usually takes two weeks, the duration of the flowering, two or three weeks. But if we, can't, if we consider one of the plan is the duration, the flowering duration is the eight days. In this plan, someday, for example, day one, near the 10% of your shelves, of your trays, as a flowering, 10 or 3%. Three day, second day, also 10%. In the third day, also 10%. But the peak of the flowering, this is only on the four and the five, fourth and the fifth days. In this stage, you have full flowering. For example, here, 10% here, 100%, 90% of your flowering, they are at the peak these days, two days on day. Again, you have the fall in the flowering. 10% of your, all your trays, all your shelves, 10% your flowering. It means in this plan, the peak of the day only happens or two or three days. That's not suitable. What happened? What will happen if you have the dislike plan? In these days, the, the your workers, they are workless, they don't have work only after the one hour or two hours, you can easily harvest them or they collect the flowers or the harvest the flowers. But in the four or five days, you have a lot of flowers. You know, harvesting from the flowers from the trees is not issue. The only things that the near 90% of your labor force cost, including the separating the petal for a stigma. When you harvest the flower of the saffron, you have purple part that is the petal, and another is the red part, the stigma. This separating this is the takes time. When we talk about the labor force, is very expensive in the saffron. It's not related to the even the harvesting saffron from the shelf because this harvesting from the saffron from the uh, shelves is very easy. Maybe in the three kilogram fresh flower you can during one hour. You can, but that is issue separating petal from the stigma than drying. You think if you have pick off the flowering in these days, only two days, you should gather a lot of workers near the 20 workers, 25 workers in your room because your room has a special labor force. In your region, you have access to the limited worker, you cannot gather. For example, the 50 workers, 40 workers, what happened? You are forced because the daily worker is a very high. Depending on the monthly, you should pay a lot of money for the workers, for the seasonal workers, for the temporary workers. A lot of workers, even with the 20 or 40 workers, all the flowers gather and you, you lost a lot of the, the majority of the flowers. Because when you harvest the flowers, you have only time 24 to 30 hours. Immediately should separate it. But the 40 workers here, here, gather the flowers and you don't have the time. Even with the, you pay a lot of money for the seasonal workers. For the temporary workers, when you pay a lot of money, even the a lot of, of the, your flowers face with the rotten and the spoil your flowers because the, the, the age of the flowers only 20 to 30 hours, one and a half day, you have time. But this plan, you know, flowering, I cannot, this is, it's not acceptable, this plan. But instead of the having peak in the two days, we have this plan. You can see in this plan, we have in the one day, 
Duration of the flowering all days in the same. You don't have the peak. A lot of flower and a little, a little. Here, you can manage easily worker. You can manage the time of the harvesting immediately after harvesting the saffron flowers. You can immediately separate and you can manage it. The labor force cost is not comparable with this. For example, in this plan, if you pay for the 5,000 euro, you can easily manage, but this plan, you should pay even the 40,000 euro, even the quantity of the saffron flowers due to the spoiling, to the rotten, is not comparable. You have, you, can, you have time for the separating all your flowers. You don't lose even the one percent of your flowers and you can manage it. The erosion is the equal. Now, how we can have the like this, okay? Therefore, this is acceptable. Now the question, how we can have the equal flowering depending on two factors. One of the factors is the temperature, come to me, and another factor, the temp your behavior with the temperature and the region, the, the company that sells saffron bulbs, depending on the, from which region, gather the bulbs, two factors. One of the factors, the control of the temperature in your room, in your hand, in your control. The first factor, the first reason, okay? How we can, for example, I told you, this is not a special temperature, for example, 25 centigrade, 20, 17, 80, cold shocking, when you want to drop, or you want to go to this stage, stage, you should gradually decrease the temperature. For example, if, if I want to temperature change 25 to 20 centigrade, I want to from the 20 to a 10 to 7, you should gradually decrease the temperature. Gradually, if I want this temperature, is it another temperature? Another temperature. I should go with it gradually. For example, per day, 1 centigrade. Gradually, I should change the temperature. If you, if, for example, in the two hours, immediately on the chiller, immediately after your heater, you will have seven centigrade in the one day. That is not acceptable. 10 centigrade in the five hours, you can change. And the bulb face with the cold. And all flowers in the one time give you a lot of flowers like this. If you have. Therefore, if you have to gradually change the temperature from the low from to high, if you gradually, you, you have the great behavior with the temperature, you will have the uh, great flowering. This is one reason that on your hand. But another reason that is the more important than this reason is the, the depending on the company, the company that sells saffron your bulbs, this is, you should know, this is not for only for one farm. This is because all the bulbs for the growing saffron should be heavy. That is very clear. The company that sells your saffron bulbs gather from the numerous farms. Numerous farms, for example, for the uh, one ton's great quality, maybe 20 farms, 30 farms. They should gather and, the for, and the, then sorting and choose the heavy bulbs. Now, another issue from which climate? For example, here in the South Africa, we have the north region and the south in the south africa for example if your company gather the bulbs some of the bulbs from the limpopo in the northwest and another from the cape town in the south in the west in the east if you gather for you from the four region for deep because they are different climate you know in the south africa we have the near tree flowering in the limpopo for example flowering happens in the beginning of the april in the south happening at the end of the April. If they gather the bulbs from this climate, these bulbs will give you different flowering. For example, if you the bulb that company give you flower from the Limpopo, uh, the flowering happens in the beginning of the April. If you gather the bulbs from the this, the flowering happens at the end of April. Therefore, if your packet will be the mix of the north and the west and east your flowering will be gradually exactly like this for example in the day one day two in the from the north 
north, north of the South Africa Limpopo, the flowering happens. These three, three, one, three, two, this is related the bulbs from the north of South Africa. All the bulbs, this is, for example, these bulbs that don't have uh, flowers, this is related, for example, these bulbs related to the Limpopo, north of South Africa, but these bulbs related to the South of Africa, this is Cape Town. These three days, you will have the flower from the north, and another day, this is from the South Africa, because the, due to their behavior, they are later give you flowers. And this flower that gave you finish, and now start the new bulbs from the new climate, depending on the south of South Africa. Therefore, all we distribute all the flowers in the different days. You will have in the different flowering, equal flowering, but this is the one. But if you only, for example, also I gave you an example of the South Africa, even in the India like this. For example, if you purchase Rishikesh, Haridwar, and then you Mumbai, this is completely different. All country has a different climate. Flowering in the north, due to we have the, in the autumn, we have the cold temperature earlier. Therefore, flowering happens earlier. In the south, if we have the uh, warm, even the autumn, later we receive the cold temperature in the later. For example, if flowering in the north hemisphere happens in the October, beginning of October, this flowering in the south India happens in the November. Because they are in the potential. Even if go for the future, the bulbs that they propagate, they know in their brain, I should give flowers even in the completely, because this is a vertical farming, completely controlled environment, even in the future, the new daughters, the new daughter bulbs give you exactly with this mother. Therefore, now in the India, in the South Africa, if the saffron supplier bulbs, if only provide for you, for example, north of the South Africa, only and uh, doesn't give you from this, all the flowering happens exactly like this model. If be only for one climate, therefore all the bulbs from the beginning, and all the bulbs appear only or two or three days. That is the not suitable. I recommend, you know, about my book, because I have put all my experience, I, uh, my experience in the, my book, this is not, my book is not like a story. It's not the other book. You can open book and you can start the saffron farm. Very clear with the simple language. I have the mention all the company step by step. For example, you want to start the saffron bulb. I introduce you the company that saffron bulbs. You, with the contact number, with the best companies I have choose from the both hemisphere, uh, for the both hemisphere. After that, I introduce you the equipment that you need, the equipment that you need, step by step explained with the pictures. Also, I put the number, the contact number for the company that sell equipment, like the air handling unit, shelves. If the site, website, for example, need to lux meters, anemometer, temperature, the light, I put the number that related to this equipment. Step by step, I explain after you receiving even the companies that you should, what is the quality of the saffron, the specification of the saffron bulb. After that, you need to know what should we do with the bulb, the environmental factors. I have a schedule with the near the 365 days, in the, all days in the year. Step by step, I put the temperature that you need, CO2, in the light and the humidity. Step by step, one day I schedule in my book. I mentioned day one needs to humidity, day two, day three, till 30, 365 days of the year. Explain with the four factors for both hemisphere from the beginning of the purchasing the saffron bulb, then you receive, for example, here like this. Which temperature, which humidity, which CO2, which light, step by step. I have mentioned near the 200 times that this should be changed. It's the bias. For example, this face needs to a special temperature, a special humidity. This, if the aspirate is a one centimeter, which temperature? Two centimeters, which temperature? All the seeds, we have the different temperature, different humidity, different CO2. From the step by step that grows till flowering. Three days after first after flowering, which temperature we should do it? 
which CO2. For the propagation phase, after the finishing, how we can reach for the fertilizing with the plant I mentioned, name to name uh, with the fertilizer that we need. How much gram fertilizer I should give for the propagation, how we can have it in the shelves, the propagation. After that, how we can experience two time flowering. Also, I mentioned the tissue culture of the bulb. Also, the economic sector. What is the cost of the equipment? What is the benefit? Everything in my book, clearly I can explain. If you need my book, you can text me on WhatsApp 009-893-5825. 39 45